Dear friend, thank you for taking the time to watch 5 Minutes with the Word of God. Today we are considering the everlasting gospel mentioned in Revelation. The gospel that Jesus came to redeem us to God and to save and deliver us from sin is the gospel. And it is everlasting in the sense that it has everlasting consequences. Dear friend, do you know the gospel? Have you accepted the gospel? How has it impacted your life? The gospel is not mere mental assent to an idea. And it's not merely saying... I believe it's a matter of the heart. If you truly believe and you have fellowship with God, you will want to please Him. And if you want to please Him, you will want what He wants for you. The problem today is that even in Christian circles, we want to please ourselves. This is why the gospel as preached by many churches is so fallacious. They preach a gospel of prosperity, success, health. It's not that we are expected to go about with a long face or to get all ascetic and expect that we should um, flagellate ourselves and torture ourselves but it's all about balance and when we read the Bible we see that God gives us the joy God gives us the peace even in trying and troubling circumstances most people are never going to have a continuous enjoyment of comfort throughout their entire life. For all persons there will be hard times, there will be periods of sickness, there will be periods of drought, maybe financial or mental or some sort of situation in their life will, realize, will arise where they come to the end of themselves and it is at this point that we turn and rely on God and this is not such a big deal if we have been relying on him and walking close with him all through our life this just becomes a further extension of our intimacy with him this is how it was with David he had enjoyed many many seasons with God on the pasture with the sheep talking with God God had helped him uh, in many circumstances before in his humble life as a shepherd. And it was all these memories of past experiences with God that gave him the boldness to uh, defeat Goliath. And also in the days of persecution when Saul was hunting him, gave him the reliance to carry on. Um, there is a verse that says David strengthened himself in God and that's what we need to do dear friends today right now in this circumstances in our world we need to realize that we need to strengthen ourselves in God and more than that we have to make ourselves available to God because we need to spread the everlasting gospel effectively. Effectively. It's not so much about trying to convince people of anything, but it's about us telling others about our reality. Think about it. See you next time in five minutes with the Word of God.